So you live to die another day. Colonel. At last. I was beginning to think you'd never guess. Was it painful? The gene therapy? You couldn't possibly imagine. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, but there have been conversations. Like watching you flail around in your ignorance. Granting you life day by day just to see if you get wise. It's been fun. Well, the fun is about to come to a dead end. We only met briefly, you and I. But you left a lasting impression. You see, when your intervention forced me to present the world with a new face, I chose to model the disgusting Gustav Graves on you. Oh, just in the details. That unjustifiable swagger. Your crass quips. A defense mechanism concealing such inadequacy. My defense mechanism is right here. So, Miss Frost is not all she seems. Looks can be deceptive. Yes, sir. By the way, did you find out who betrayed you in North Korea? Only a matter of time. You never thought of looking inside your own organization? She was right under your nose. It was so good of you to bring your gun to bed with us. Yes. Occupational hazard. You see, I have a gift. An instinct for sensing people's weaknesses. Yours is women. Hers and mine is winning, whatever the cost. So, when I arranged for that fatal overdose for the true victor at Sydney, I won myself my very own MI6 agent. Using everything at my disposal. Her brains. Her talent. Even her sex. The coldest weapon of all. Hello? Miranda? There will be others after me, you know that. Oh, you mean your American friend, Jinx. Soon to be the victim of a tragedy. A nice palace can be such a treacherous place. Hand over the toys. You know, I've missed your sparkling personality. Mm. <sighs> How's that for a punchline? Kill him. I enjoyed last night, James. But it really is death for breakfast. Kill him. Now! <laughs> 